Another form of trafficking is labor trafficking, where someone is compelled to work against their will, they're unable to leave their job. When we think about identifying human trafficking situations and when we think about supporting victims and survivors, it's really important to think about people's community and their network of support. And I think for everyone during the pandemic, this has shifted and changed. And so that certainly has us concerned that those typical identification points of victims and survivors or where someone may realize someone needs help and offer the hotline number to them as a resource, we're certainly worried that that is happening less frequently.